Hey guys, Friday here with Sweaty Pixels. We're doing another Orcs Must Die tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about advanced barricading. And uh, this is something that Rogatin came up with, my buddy Rogatin. And it really changed the way we did things. Because before, I'm going to show you guys how we used to barricade off That's Arena be before uh, the advent yeah, of the advanced barricading. So we're up to five barricades. That's eight barricades. And then you would have to um, set up your barricade, barricades for your kill box and your 4 by 2 So ten barricades. It used to, you stay ten barricades that properly barricade this off before we knew about advanced barricading and what to look for. And I'll try to quickly explain something that you need to look for with the advanced barricading is these blue streaks. These are the the pathing lines of the orcs, the paths they're going to take. So those are very important. When you're here on War Mage, you can always go ahead and load up a map and test out the barricades and see what works and what doesn't. And what you're looking for is, and uh, I'll show you guys the difference. See how these lines are, are they're bouncing around and they're all eventually coming over here. Well, you want them to bounce because I'll show you what happens when you barricade improperly, which would be like this. See how the lines, they just come out and they stop? That's bad. When the lines come out and stop like that, it means the orcs are going to run out and bust your shit. So, I don't want that. So, I'm going to sell those. And I'm actually going to show you guys how we now barricade this through the advent of the adva advanced barricading. And I'll actually, we'll take it one step further. I'll show you how for your how face. we used to do it and then how we do it now. This will be good. Because even the way we do it now is still even better. So this was like this was this a one. typical. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I like this one. This was the typical setup we used to do for arena. And you're at three, five, seven barricades. So you're three less. You know, you have still some coin left. But even better still, watch this. I'm going to show you how we really barricade this stage now. So, we're going to set the kill box up over here. So what you do, you start you start the map and you're like, I think you're facing this way. You run this way, come over here. Just only takes one. You. Half a tile away from that pillar. Touch the corners, half a tile away from that pillar. Now you can kind of offset it a little bit. You just can't leave that full tile space. There has to be only a half tile space between these pillars here. Or you can run through, but the orcs can't. As you notice, they're all going the other way, which is what you want. Same thing over here. Half a tile away from the pillar. Half a tile. And then your kill box. You only need one for your kill box over here. And that's one less barricade. So we now used, let's count. One, two, three, four, five six barricades so we went from ten barricades down to six through the advent of or not the advent through the the usage of the advanced barricading techniques so this is one one way to do it on one map and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few other neat tricks with this on a couple other maps so I'll be right back and we're back and we're on twin halls and this map I'll show you guys there's basically you know, this side and the other side's mirrored to this. And I'll show you how we used to do it. We used to do it back in the day, we used to do it like this. Three barricades across. Thinking, yeah, we're we're smart. That's gonna make them all go that way. Well, I'll show you guys something. Come out and you can do this. And there's also a trick with this too, I wanna see hopefully uh Yep. You notice I placed the right one first. Now watch this. Here's a trick. Place the left one first. And hey, look. They suddenly want to get shunted off that way. So you've now successfully barricaded this off with only two barricades. Two. One, two. Now, this is, I guess, this has got to be a glitch, obviously. You know, because why should the order you place it in affect how they path? But it, it does. So it's got to be a glitch, but something they've left in the game. 
So we know if we go right, right, left, then they're gonna Looking path good. through. But if we go left, right, it's gonna pro uh, successfully cordon them off that way. So there's still one more trick we can show you guys. When you come back here, you put uh, right Orange, there, I believe. The other, other white yep. Meat. See that spot? The corner is kind of lined up to the pillar. It's one barricade. Uno barricade to cordon all the orcs off to the other side. So that's pretty awesome. And then you come back over here. Um, you should probably set your kill box up under here all against the wall. And if I were you, I would put my kill box, you know, mark. the entrance would be right here. And eventually I'd want my kill box to look like this. Well, at least like the barricades. Sometimes I, almost feel bad for I like my barricades like that. And this really. kind of gets a tight funnel of all the orcs into your kill box. Now don't do this immediately. You, ba you eventually build your barricades up to this. But that's a whole other... You just look at my Twin Halls video if you want to see more about that. And I'm going to show you guys a few more maps real quick. So be right back. And now on to the library. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with this stage, you got two doors, and two rifts, and this this used to be a big pain for a lot of people because you notice if you go like this, so you're gonna notice. The, remember I talked about the padding lines just stopping, and that's what they're doing when they want to try to come this way. They're they're just stopping. They're disappearing. That means they're gonna bust up your barricades. You don't want that. So. I'll show you guys how to do this properly. So you're going to go here to this corner. Corner of the pillar, corner of the barricade. Right? And I like to do that. That's my three barricade method that I like to use on this map. And you'll see them bouncing very nicely and all funneling that way towards, the, uh, towards that rift. And to one-up this... Um... My friend Hungry Hungry Hippos, he was the first one to show show me or I guess the community this, but you can actually mix this barricade and only use two. Now this makes no sense. You know, there's a big giant hole here, but the orcs don't want to path in here. And these these pathing lines are right probably like 90% of the time. I re you rarely will see them deviate off that path. Now I will tell you, you 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 may get like a wandering orc, like just come back through here and it'll eventually start running towards the rift. But that might might happen once or twice in a playthrough, maybe. And if he does, just headshot him. You know, no big deal. So um, the other thing I would say for this day, just this really goes to the strategy of the map. But the um, the first two round, first three rounds, the orcs only come out of this door. You can set up like a four by two right here, and on the third round, also you're gonna get an ogre, but just you can just pull him into the four by two, and after the round's over, just sell your crap and put up over here, you know, put up your barricades, and then you want to set your four by two up over here. That's all. That's all you do, and then so that's advanced barricading for the arena. So we're gonna do one more map, and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and here is Rebirth. I had to get to round four for this one to show you guys what I was, what I want to do. But this is pretty interesting. This is something I, uh, I came up with myself, just uh, for shits and giggles, and it works. And it actually, you can actually net a pretty good score with this. So I am using advanced barricading to block off the entire rift <laughs> that that makes any sense but I just now I've now blocked off the entire rift and the entire thing is blocked off and all the enemies from all three doors in this map have to come through here now so this creates a uni, uh, a soul kill box for this map which you know usually in the past was never done so this um this will help you to easily high score this map or or five skull it and uh yeah it's kind of cool you know you can only really uh you can, you can do this on nightmare it'd be very very difficult to get it set up but you probably could but it's definitely much more friendly on war mage to do this but yeah this is the last thing i wanted to show with the advanced barricading um if you want to see these uh see these 
strategies played out. I think all the maps I sh I've shown in this video, I believe I used advanced barricading just the way I showed in the tutorial here um, when I did those playthroughs in my War Mage guide. So, you know, put a link to that in the description. But uh, yeah, guys, this has been Advanced Barricading 101, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later. Hey guys, Friday here. I'm doing a little small bonus snippet to the Advanced Barricading. I wanted to show you guys what you can do to deal with uh, Wanderers. Wanderers are archers you get to kind of wander around out here, and they're stupid, and they don't want to come into your kill box, and you have to come out here and kill them. I'm going to show you, at least on this map, and you can apply it to a few other maps too, um, a way to barricade to completely get rid of that and get them into your kill box. So, here we go. I sold off all my barricades over here. The only, thing, the only one I left up is the one in my kill box. And on this map, you come and start putting barricades over here. Like so. So I'm blocking off this side. It's making them go down this way. Need one more barricade here to block this off. Right? You with me? And what we're going to do is we're going to come straight off of our 4x2 barricade and do that. So what this is doing, guys, nothing is able to come out here. Nothing. Everything is going to come straight down this path to your kill box and get their faces melted off, which is what you want. So, yeah, that's really all I wanted to show. You can, you can do this on... Any map where you have Wanderers, I know um, Killing Fields, you have some issues with that, and I, in my War Mage tutorial, I show you guys some of the, some I do something similar. And on that map, the only difference is you you know you have um, some sappers, and you may have to re repair some or replace some barricades from time to time. But you have a lot of money on that map, so it doesn't matter. But anyways, guys, this is a little bonus snippet to the advanced barricading to help deal with Wanderers. Anytime you can, you know, have a break. And if you have some extra money, you know, give it a try. Just, you know, give it a whirl and see if you, you know, can do something like this. Because that's all I did. And I remember I was talking with Rogue and I was like, man, I'm playing Arena. You know, I can't beat your score. And, you know, it's stupid Wanderers and blah, 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 and this and that. And, and just by talking to him, you know, he was saying there was a way to do it. And, you know, funnel them into your killbacks no matter what. And I don't know, I don't know what he was talking about, but then I came up with this. <laughs> I don't know if it was. I don't know if he was trying to tell me to do this, but I came up with that myself. Whether he inspired it or not, I I did this and it works pretty well. So, anyways, guys, this is the um, end of the advanced barricading. So, hope you guys got something out of the video, and please stay tuned for more tutorials. See you guys later.